Today's demo will show how a trucking company can use Hortonworks data platform, also known as HDP, to analyze geolocation data, reduce fuel costs, and improve driver safety. Geolocation data identifies the location of an object or individual at a moment in time. This data may take the form of coordinates or an actual street address. Geolocation data is used to locate people or assets. For people, enterprises can learn where and when its customers congregate. For assets, transportation and logistics companies can better maintain their vehicles and control risk. We have placed sensors on our 100 long-haul trucks. The sensors communicate the position and speed of each vehicle. They also sense unsafe events, such as speeding or swerving. We will load, refine, and visualize this geolocation data. We begin by loading geolocation data from our trucks, along with other types of data, into the Hadoop distributed file system known as HDFS. Apache Flume streams geolocation data into HDFS, and we use Apache Scoop to import structured truck data from a database. Think of all the data in HDFS as a data lake that contains years of data on every vehicle we own and every payload we deliver. Here we can see some of the location records flowing through Flume. We are capturing time, date, truck ID, driver ID, dangerous events, latitude, longitude, and velocity. Apache Scoop is a tool designed for efficiently transferring bulk data between structured databases and Apache Hadoop. We will use Scoop to transfer our company's trucks table into Hadoop. Throughout this demo, you will see us process the data using our Hortonworks Sandbox. You can download this from our website. HCatalog renders both the unstructured geolocation logs and the structured truck data in Hadoop. For geolocation, we can see truck ID, driver ID, event, latitude, longitude, city, state, and velocity as well as indicators about whether the vehicle was involved in a risky event or was idling. For trucks, we can see the driver ID, truck ID, the model, and monthly miles driven and gas consumed. Now let's refine the data. We want to answer two questions. Which trucks are idling and wasting fuel? And which drivers are driving unsafely? First, we will use an Apache Hive script to calculate gas mileage for each truck. This Hive script projects a structure on the raw data. After running the Hive script, we can see a new mileage attribute in the table. We want to combine the truck and geolocation data to calculate the number of risk events per mile driven. This is the risk factor that we can use to prioritize which drivers need additional training, more sleep, or a reduction in hours. With only 11 lines of code in Apache Pig, we can calculate this risk factor for each driver. We can see that the Pig script created a new table called Risk Factor, listing each driver's risk factor value. Hortonworks Data Platform has an ODBC connection to Apache Hive from Excel, so we can use Excel 2013 to connect to the data in HDFS. This will bring up the list of tables which we can access directly. We'll select columns of geolocation data and import those into Excel. Just like that, our geolocation data is ready for visualization. We've done the same with the trucks and risk factor data. Some of the troubling driving patterns may be due to road conditions or traffic, while others may be due to driver error. We will visualize the data with maps and graphs to find which negative driving patterns are within the driver's control and which are not. We'll begin the data visualization by finding the 10 trucks with the worst gas mileage. We can see that gas mileage ranges from just under 4 to just over 6 miles per gallon. Here are the 10 trucks with the poorest mileage. Now we want to map where those 10 trucks with the poorest mileage have been idling. Of course, drivers idle their trucks for many reasons, some legitimate. But if they're idling for long periods at a truck stop, there may be cause for concern. We can see that these 10 trucks are idling often in Santa Rosa, 
Arbuckle, and Willits. Now let's take a look at safety. Remember our risk factor calculation? Driver 97 has the highest risk factor, and we can also see that most of our company's risk from dangerous driving is concentrated in a few individual drivers. Now let's go back to our map on idling and update that to look at risky driving events. At a glance, I can see that risky driving occurs more frequently in Willits and Santa Rosa. Remember driver number 97? I can see where he's been driving recklessly and also how he's been taking risks. Sudden lane departures seem to be a particular problem for this driver. Now we can coach number 97 and other problematic drivers with much more specific information. With Apache Uzi, we can schedule a job to recalculate gas mileage and risk factors periodically. Now we will notice driver improvement, or we may see that some drivers represent too much liability to be driving for our company. Because our trucking company had real-time access to massive amounts of data on HDP, we were able to pursue strategies that reduced gasoline expense and improved driver safety. But all of our data is still there in our HDP data lake. We can refresh it frequently and access it to optimize our fleet's performance in other ways. You can get started analyzing your own geolocation data right now with the Hortonworks Sandbox, a single node Hadoop cluster that you can load to your laptop for free in 15 minutes. Go to the Hortonworks website and start playing in the Sandbox.